Hello, Nisa Denise Dose. How are you today? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. I'm Savings Fashionista, and over here we do mainly things fragrance, whether it's body or home. And today I have a little bit of both body and home fragrances, you guys. So if you're interested in seeing the things that I purchased at the recent Bath and Body Works sale, Okay, so this past weekend, they had this really cool sale leading up into Mother's Day. I'm sure they'll probably have more sales or another sale starting on Thursday. But they had the $3.50 um, hand soap. They had the $5.95 fine fragrance mist. And they had the $12.95 candles. You can get those things for um, less if you had a 20 or 25% off coupon. And um, the fine fragrance mist that I'm going to share with you today, they are from the luxury line. These were ordered for me by someone else that was able to get on the site because I think when they had that last sale, a lot of them were selling out, but someone was able to get them and I'm so glad. So um, I have five of the four, no, five of the 10 fragrances. And um, I must say that they do compare to... Um, these um designer fragrances and some of them are niche fragrances so let's start with this one this is the petal parade it has fragrance notes of neroli petal orange blossom and white woods and this does smell very similar to the prada paradox it smells more similar to the original one than the intense one the intense one has a higher note of moss in it but you do get a little woodiness. So this is a sweet woody fragrance and it's nice. I wouldn't say that these are spot on dupes in my opinion. But I do think that they are really great fine fragrance mists that you can use as a barrier for these fragrances. Or you can use them just to refresh you know, yourself throughout the day. So again, this is Pink Parade and it is compared to the Prada Paradox. The next one, it has been compared to the Suntall 33 by Le Labo. I don't have that fragrance. I have had samples of it and I have sampled it. And you do get that sandalwood DNA. But I do have a fragrance in my collection that this smells like, in my opinion. This is Lost in Santal. It has fragrance notes of warm cardamom, satin santal, and cedarwood. The fragrance that I have in my collection that this reminds me of is the Santal Blanc by Van Cleef's and Arpel. I actually like the Santal Blanc better than the um, Santal 33 by Le Labo. But this is a pretty fragrance in my opinion. I do think that this is for the same purpose. All of these can be used as layering components. It can be used as a refresher. And it's nice. So again, this is Lost in Santal. The next one is um, Getaway Soray. This is compared to the Sole Blanc by Tom Ford. The only thing Sole Blanc that I have in my collection is the Shimmering Body Oil. And um, I prefer Beach Walk or Vanilla Coco. You, vanilla Utopia. I can never get K.I. Lee name right. But it's the Utopia Vanilla Coco by K.I. Lee. I prefer those fragrances over the Santal Blanc. But I do use the Santal Blanc as um, a layering component and it has that beautiful shimmer but this fragrance it does compare i don't think that it's a spot on for either of the fragrance the replica beach walk the um ki lee utopia vanilla cocoa or the santal blanc by tom ford but can it be used as a layering component for those fragrances yes it can so again this is Getaway Soray, it has notes of sun-kissed mandarin, tuberose, and solar musk. All right, the next one, there's a little controversy. Well, not too much controversy, but some people say that it is a repackage from something that um, Bath & Body Works had out in previous time, which is the Kaleidoscope. I was in shopping Bath & Body Works at that time, but the most recent um, fragrance that they have compared it to is the Glossier U. And I do have this fragrance in my collection. And this is If You Musk. It has fragrance notes of iris, pink pepper, and airy musk. Mm. And to me, it does smell a lot like 
Glossier is you. If Kaleidoscope does smell like this, Bath and Body Works, you guys should re-lease um, that again. But this is nice. And like I said, it can be used as a layering component for um, Glossier you. And the last one, the one that I was mostly excited about and mostly intrigued about because I have just recently joined the fan club of Donna, Born and Roma, the original one. Why I'm late, I don't know, but I'm here now. So this is Pink Obsessed and it has fragrance notes of Blushing Jasmine, Cashmere Praline and Vanilla Bourbon. To me, out of all of the five that I have, this is my favorite one. And it does smell a lot like the Valentino Donna Born Aroma. I do think that this could be used to layer with the original, the pink double P, and the latest one, which is the green extravaganza. Because although it is a tea scent, but it does have that same underlying vanilla note. And this is absolutely beautiful. It's pretty. So... Again, um, this is the Pink Obsess. So just a little sidebar, when talking to um, my essay in a couple of my local stores, the management told me, um, well, in one store, not both of them. The management of this particular store told me that this was like a trial era. So if you were not able to get these online, she said that they are talking about releasing them again in the fall. And it's possible that they will come in various um, formulations, um, meaning the soap, the um, lotion, and other formulations. So if you weren't able to secure them online and your stores don't have it, just hold tight because from what she said that they will possibly be re-released in the fall, you guys. So um, these were the only five that I were interested in and I'm, I'm cool with them because I do do a lot of layering and um, I think fine fragrance mists are just really good to layer, especially if you don't like putting a lot of um, perfumes on your skin. So let's just move right into the candles. I picked up a few candles and two of the candles are backup candles that um, candles that I've been enjoying. And I just wanted to get another one. So this is the Gingham Unstoppable. This is the third candle that I've had like this. I burned through the previous two, and it is so good. It has fresh neroli, sparkling water, clean musk. This is along the lines of laundry day. It even puts me a little bit in the mind of, um, what is it, blue midnight citrus. It's one of those type of candles, but it's, it is different. So Gingham Unstoppable to me is much different from the original Gingham, but I really enjoy this candle, so I picked up this. And then I picked up one of my summertime, springtime favorites. Mm, this is so good. I think this is candle number four or five. And I've burned through all of these. This is the Sweet Red Mango. This is so juicy and refreshing. This was out last year. This has ripe mango, sunny peach, and pineapple juice. Really nice. Sweet Red Mango. And two that I think are repackages, but um, I don't remember having them. I think I may have. I think I may have had. I just don't remember. But this is the Sweet Tea and Lemonade. I know this is a repackage because I do have the soap from last year. And I think I may have had the candle. I just can't remember. But it definitely smells like sweet tea, in my opinion. It's um, brewed sweet tea, squeezed, fresh squeezed lemonades, and sugar crystals. So it does have that sweet tea smell and it is really nice. So again, this is sweet tea and lemonade. Now this candle, I do think that this is a repackage, but it was a part of the Love Always Win line year before last, I want to say. If you know, if you can confirm or contradict that, let me know. But this is the Star Fruit Sangria. And... This is a fruity summertime type of candle. It smells so nice. It has fragrance notes of golden star fruit, kiwi nectar, chilled sangria with natural essential oils. Nice. Very nice. Nice, nice, nice. So I picked up that one. And the last one is something totally new to me. Um, it's from the Asian inspired line. I wanted so badly to like all of them, but this was the favorite out of all of them and I decided to pick one up this is the roasted sesame 
Yes, it has fragrance notes of roasted sesame, toasted hazelnut with sweet maple. This is nice. It is a nutty, sweet candle. You definitely smell the nuts. You can smell the sesame. You smell everything in this candle. It is really nice, you guys. And the wax is very cute. A peachy color wax. So I picked up one of these and that's my haul, you guys. Leave in the comments below if you shop the sale. Um, I'm sure there'll probably be more sales leading up into um, Sunday of next week. Um, don't forget if you want to get that bag, the fall and bloom items that are inside that bag, I give them a thumbs up because it does remind me a lot of the Chance by Chanel. It's a beautiful fragrance in my opinion. Um, I think that your mom probably would like it. So I want to thank you guys so very much for always coming back and supporting me. Your time is greatly appreciated. And do not forget, you, yes, you, you are great. Bye-bye.